Hello, we are back again. Um, today we are unblocking a toilet. As you can tell by my voice, it's still crap, but I'm doing my, the best I can with what I've got. Um, we've been here before. Um, it's um, the ensuite to the gentleman's son, and um, he's got a habit of using too much paper, as you will see. Yeah. And um, unfortunately, it hasn't been checked for a while and um, got left accidentally. So uh, don't judge. Just this is a, it. Happ it happens and. They're happy for us to rec record and um, sh do a like, how to unblock a toilet video. Um, so that is what we're going to do. So we're going to get Matthew. Say hello, Matthew. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm going to get Matthew to hold the camera. I'm going to... Uh, get undressed. Declothe. I haven't got my black t-shirt on today. I wasn't expecting to do this, to be honest. Um, I'm going to pop this just out there. That'll do. Right. So, I'm about to say it's going to be a simple toilet unblocking, and, and I bought up my plunger ready because that's the best tool for unblocking a toilet. So, what I might need actually is a bin. Was there a bin, like a normal? I'm There's gone. no bit in there. No. I think it went last time we did this. Um, so what we're going to do also, very important tool for this particular type of toilet I'm blocking, is a bin bag. Make sure that this bin bag stays open. So. People would be wondering now, how the hell do you unblock a toilet with a bin bag? Well, you're just about to see, and you will be amazed. Look okay. at that camera for a minute. All right. Let's have a look and see what we're dealing with, shall we? Are you ready? Oh, let's lift up that seat as well, so we can get a good view. There will be no porridge. And I imagine it can all be unblocked from just up here. There's a few flies, actually. Two, yeah. Um, two are flies. Okay, so, uh, <sighs> are you ready? We're gonna dive in. Right. Let's see how Matthew deals with this one, shall we? It looks like it's been in there a while, mate. It's, um, I think you said about two months. Two months? Yeah. Hasn't been checked since. <sighs> it's a stinky one, isn't it? Yeah, smelly, yeah. All right, I've got gloves, so I'll just crack on. <sighs> nice, strong smell of uric acid. <laughs> <sighs> There's definitely some flies in there, mate. Well, unfortunately, someone has to do it. So, the quickest, best, and easiest way is just to get your hands in there. Well, maybe they will check on this a bit more often next time. It's gonna keep happening. The window's open, mate. There's not much I can do. I'm gonna throw up. Don't throw up in there because I don't want to take your throw up out at all. I'm right, gonna just take a deep breath outside quickly. It's very enclosed space, so the smell can't escape very quick, though. All right, just last bit at the bottom where all the urine is. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> right there, mate. Oh. Oh. 
I'm all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I'm, I'm thinking about what I'm having for dinner. Mm. Can you flush that button because you've got clean hands? Oh, but didn't you look at that? No longer blocked. You're all right there, Matt. Right, so now what I need to do is take my gloves off. Oh, God, I messed up my time. I'm going to take my gloves off. Matthew's run away. He's left me here. Um, so I'm just going to prop you there whilst I uh, de-glove myself cleanly. And because Matthew's still got... I'm going to need some more gloves to tie this bag up. I think we brought three pairs up, didn't we? Because we yeah. knew that we would need three pairs. bottom because if I pinch it at the top I'll trap a load of air in there and then when I go to tie it up I'll push all that air out and it will end up uh, making Matthew sick. <laughs> uh, we don't really want to do that. Uh, right. Let's tie that up, keep it all contained. Like that. Uh, that's not going anywhere. There's a little bit on the wall, but that'll wipe up. Right. Got a bit of bleach, there's not a lot in there. Because there's more bleach down there. Yeah, there is, yeah, there's a couple, yeah, but I'm, I'm, this one will do. That's broken, isn't it? I did not want to do that. <laughs> okay, never mind. Sorry. Right, so we squeeze the bottle because there's only a little bit in there. Suck in a bit of water. Do it again. used a few times. <laughs> oh, <thanks. laughs> okay, and we'll just clean this up for them. Make sure it looks like we've done a really good job. Let me flush that. We'll wash all that bleach away that I've just put in there because that's me being clever. I mean, sometimes when you've got kids, and they don't know how much toilet paper to use and you don't check their toilets regularly if they have their own toilet um, this sort of thing can happen thrown away. <laughs> it's pretty bad, isn't it? I'm going to make sure I flush this toilet a good few times whilst we're here, just to make sure that there's nothing else in there. Oh, what's that? Do you want an empty bottle of bleach? <laughs> I'm to be fair, I wouldn't really, uh, my personal preference, I wouldn't really keep bleach in the kids' room. I don't know why they've done that. But each to their own. Oh, 
all that uric acid's caused some scaling in the bottom. It's been sat in there probably for a while. They reckon a couple of weeks they haven't checked it. Um, I reckon perhaps maybe a little bit longer. That's uric acid on the side there as well. It's caused a lot more. But it was nice of them to let us record it and not get embarrassed about it. That's not too bad. This is going to be a quick and uh, a, quite a short video. So uh, whilst I'm cleaning up this bowl, um, we've just gone over a thousand subs. So thank you very much for subscribing. I really appreciate you. Um, I am going to do a Q and A because you've asked for it. So I will do it. I just need to think about what questions versus. Yeah, you know, which ones really require answering, or which ones just need a, a thanks. I'll probably do some shout outs, etc. Get that off. Get that nice full flush. I don't think we needed the um, the plunger in the end. I guess it, it, in this particular instance, it's more a case of forgetting to flush. That's what it would appear to be. Someone's forgetting to flush the toilet and just letting it build up and then being too worried to say anything about it and just carrying on using it. Eventually, unfortunately, you have to speak up and uh, get it sorted. So that's the best I can do with that. Uh, they need some lime scale remover in there, which we don't have. Um, I need to give it a, a bloody good clean and they need to keep an eye out for it if it happens again, which is now the second time we've done this. Uh, <laughs> hope you enjoyed this one more than we did. Uh, obviously like and subscribe and drop us some comments down below. Some questions you might want answered in the Q&A. Whatever you like. We'll see you in the next one. We're sorted. Sorted.